Hello guys and welcome to this video. I'm Joe from Tactical Index and um, today I'm going to show you how do you assemble the HPA MWS uh, kit. So this way I'm going to show you which kind of glue I use to assemble the system and I'm going to show you what you need to do to get a good uh, air seal and uh, let's go then. First, you need to print this uh, nicely because uh, you will really need to, to print it in a certain way to get some mechanical properties like uh, the, the thread inside needs to be printed nicely. That's why you need to print it this way on the build, uh, on the build plate. And uh, yeah, you need to have uh, this uh, surface that need to stay really nicely on the build plate, no warping or something. Because if your system tends to warp like this, the magazine won't go there nicely and you will have too much friction and you will have some troubles to put the, the cover there because of the deformation you can get on this point. So. First, you need to, to, to test with the, the hose. It will go this way. See? And here, it needs to go a bit further. There, you see? It to go, I think, two millimeters inside this chamber. So you have a, a seal there and you have enough space there for the air to flow through the chamber. So, let's go then. Don't forget to have a, a pencil or a, br a small brush to applicate the, the epoxy inside. This uh, layer of epoxy we will put in the chamber will help, will help to have a good seal because the, the FDM 3D printing tends to have leaks and uh, the only way to get it, uh, these leaks gone is to apply this epoxy layer. So I personally use, I rolled it. I tried the uh, different ones. I went through five proto prototypes, I think. And this one is the only one that uh, stayed in place after applying pressure. And uh, after sending some mags, uh, with my personal um, adapter, it stays in place. I don't have to reinforce, and it uh, the air seal is uh, is quite well. I don't have any leaks, so let's go. Since this glue, uh, this epoxy have two components, a hardener and the epoxy itself, the, they generally comes in a packaging like this, where you've got two, two containers. You apply this and you make this. there and you can start to apply be careful not applying too much because when you've got too much it will go inside the chamber and uh, you can uh, completely block the path of the air inside so be careful try to apply it as nicely as you can there. Inside, like this. Really 
really take your time there to put it nicely because it's it's really crucial to have it applied enough so you have a seal but not too much so take your time you're not in a hurry this kind of glue epo epoxy glue will take some some days to to set so don't be in a hurry it won't uh, set be between your hands there too here it's for the seal with the hose Yeah, if you were waiting for an entertaining video, <laughs> yeah, you're far from it. <laughs> no. Put some nice layer there. So, we're okay. Apply some on this side too, just to be sure. Inside for the hose. Then we're set. And here is a tricky part. You need to put the hose inside here and at the same time apply this i'm just gonna show you quickly for later because i won't be able to show you once it's um, the glue is setting for the the feed lips first you have to put your gas root there just like your original mug and then tuck and you push it this one are the 3d printed ones i've put in the set they work but uh, don't expect those to work for long they are just placeholder for during the time you're looking for original ones the lever i already put the spring on it okay just put it inside then the small screw there and for the pins you can use your original ones, but me, I use those. Those are um, bike uh, bike spokes, two millimeter bike spokes that I cut at the desired length. And they are perfect to make pins. They are exactly the, the good size. You can even use those on the original mug. That's quite nice. And here, now let's do this. Okay, as you can see here, it's going a bit inside. I hope you see in the video. You need to be two millimeters inside the chamber. And uh, no, that's tricky. This part is from, from being the funniest thing to do. I'm too far inside. There. No. Here. It's quite good. And now. Do 
there. You see? Yeah, it looks ugly. But uh, I will clean it later. At least all of our epoxy is uh, nicely applied. And now you need to compress those during the, the setting time of the epoxy. You can use uh, this kind of pliers. I will personally use this thing that you can see at the back. I'll show you. I use this thing. So I'm sure I apply enough pressure. You can use what you want. And after that, you're good to go to, to test. For the valve, you need to apply a bit of silicone. I personally use, let me show you this silicone. Silicone takes a long time to set several days. Just look at the instruction. Need to apply, try to make on this o ring and this o ring. You make all around a smaller layer of silicone, and when you put it inside, you screw it a lot. I personally made this tool to help reaching inside. It's an old, uh, I, don't, I don't exactly know what it is. As you can see, you've got these two, two heads getting like this and screw it uh, a lot until you can't move. Technically the threads are strong enough so that's not a problem and you will need to tighten it a lot to have a seal. And there, uh, just let it set and you're good to go. Have a nice day.